Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, today I am back in the shop, gonna do a video that I haven't done in a while. This is a travel trailer toy hauler. One of my favorite brands, uh, this is the Striker. This particular model is pretty darn cool because it's an open concept toy hauler, uh, meaning that it doesn't have its actual own dedicated garage. It's kind of more, well, <laughs> it's exactly like I said, it is an open concept. Pretty darn cool. I'm gonna do, you know, probably a pretty brief tour on this one. Uh, gotta get out, doing a hot dinner date tonight with the missus. Got the kids out the house and gonna enjoy it. But this is the 2023 Striker 2916. If you guys are looking for the specifications on this camper, things like, you know, garage size, height, awning size, tank sizes, you will find that down in the description of this video. And if you guys like my style, uh, or value this video, you know, do me a solid, hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. But again, it's the 2023 Striker 2916. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hope you guys dig it. But <coughs> now typically I start right back in the back, but I think it's important to kind of give a little context here for the open concept and kind of what I mean. So as you can see, garage here in the back, we got the patio set up. Really awesome for partying, setting up a table and kind of hanging out with your, uh, with your friends on the trails. But check this out. You know, all of this room, I put the rollover sofas down. You can definitely flip those up against the wall, you know, and get rid of them. But you get 12 tie downs on this and all the way up to basically where this jets out, you know, is the garage portion that you can functionally use for your toys. Now, right over here, this slide is out. So... It will block a little bit of your garage, you know, probably when it's in, probably about a foot and a half. But I, I point that out as a big time plus because a lot of these toy haulers that have this open concept, they put these huge, clunky, bulky slides that are about three feet out. And when you pull it in, it eats away what makes a toy hauler special, you know, the area to put the toys. So I like how this is only a foot and a half slide, doesn't take up too much space. They made this island kind of jet out. You got a little bit of a narrow hallway, but you got a massive bathroom. Really, really cool. And I definitely wanted to start there. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and flip it around. Uh, I guess the first thing we'll start from the back and work our way forward. So I've got this kind of in the party mode set up. And what I like about it is one, you can put about 3,000 pounds there on that back door, set up some tables, play some cards, play some music, enjoy the nightlife. You get these big metal cables that are hanging down to help support you. Um, but, you know, you can obviously really easily remove this and drop it down as well to get your toys in and out. You're also going to have a drop down, you know, plastic. Um, I don't know if you want to call it like a door, you know, or whatever. But, you know, you can set it down for like a three seasons patio door type style um, and open it up to either get a nice breeze or block it off completely to keep some of that heat or that AC in. Big old LED lights right off the back to make back to make a loud impression to help you out when you're backing in or in that nightlife. You also get a place where you can put an observation camera, $550 to install that. Yeah, suction cup it right on into your windshield and you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers while you're driving. You're also gonna see you have accent lighting here, here and above the fan. I just think that makes it look really nice. Again, these are rollover sofas. So this is in sofa mode and you can just take it and flip it on over. You can do the rest with your imagination to make a bed. Also here up top, you're gonna see you got that. That is also going to be a queen size bed that you can drop down to sit right about, you know, waist height or so, um, you know, sleep some additional folks. This thing has 12 tie downs. And right here you can see it's dovetailed with kind of the more sturdy rubber, you know, tear it up decking, you know, right there as well. So that way you don't bottom out your toys and you don't scuff up the floor. So I think that is pretty nice. You get a little curtain right here to create a little bit of privacy out the back for your guests when they're sleeping. This is a better view of this drop down. So this drops down probably to right about there, I would say. Um, in order to do that, all you do is raise the sofas up until it relieves the pressure up and pushes that bed up and then you pull out the pens and then you can drop it down. Really simple, a click of a button. Uh, you also get two really nice sized tinted windows at the back, not only for a good view, but it is a toy hauler, so you might want to open it up for a good cross breeze, you know, get some of the fumes out of there. You also have another window right here, again, that opens up for a nice breeze. You also get some nightshades as well. That's going to come on all the windows. 
you know, get your Dracula on and block it out. If you don't want to open up the windows while you're driving down the road, open that up, sucks the air out, keeps the air flowing, you know, really nice and easy right there. I love how toy haulers are doing that. <coughs> Two recliners, those are optional. They're very comfortable. They are a little bit expensive, uh, but they're nice to have, you know, for your extra guests. Right next to the door, conveniently placed, is going to be your control center. So your one slide will be controlled right there, your awning, your auxiliary lights, and then your, you know, your cap lights, porch lights, awning lights, cabin, all of that right here. You can also test all your levels, you know, for how your full tank, how full your tanks are. So black one, black two, fresh water, gray, gray two, you know, and battery. So all that's going to be found right there on your control panel. Right next to it is going to be your thermostat. And then the control, you know, for your um, for your sound system. So inside and outside both have speakers. You can get some music bumping. Uh, this actually has a pretty impressive uh, sound system in general, including the power base right there. So you can get this thing absolutely bumping. It's definitely uh, one of the brands that's not only built around quality, but it's also built around hitting the trail and you know, kind of partying. To be honest with you, you know, there's a lot of stuff that um, kind of works towards that with the back patio you know, and that, you know, the extra base system. Another thing that I enjoy about it is if the camera shows up well, it's got the bowed ceiling. So right there, you can really tell the barrel ceiling. So what that creates is a little bit more head height in the middle. It's the illusion that it is much larger than it is, you know, so that is pretty slick as well. Kind of a residential feature. And again, something to kind of circulate some of those fumes uh, is going to be a fan right there. I like that. I enjoy that. A really massive window right over here. Uh, again, opens up, creates a nice breeze, has a nightshade. You get a little tiny like cubby action right here uh, with your fuse box, an outlet, um, you know, and a place to put a couple stuff, put a couple things. Storage. Uh, different controls. So your bed lift control up and down is going to be right here for those back sofas. You also get another thermostat there. So this thing's going to have two ACs on it, which is a plus. Your control for your fan. You have a gas and electric refrigerator, which is going to be extremely common in the toy haulers. Um, you know, using up that propane and that electric, depending on whether you're going off the grid, you know, or on the grid. And there you go. Check that out. That's going to be your subwoofer there, your power base. Sansui TV. So a nice size TV right there. And then here we are back to the slide. This is going to be your kitchen slide. So you get this, you know, little couch that you can drop down for a little extra sleeping. You're going to see another window uh, to, you know, you can open it up more breeze, another nightshade, more storage. Another outlet right here. And then on the striker, these are going to be a little bit of a higher end travel trailer. So you get the solid surface countertops, your stainless steel undermounted bowl, and your residential, or not residential, I'm sorry, but um, residential in size uh, for the faucet. Hit those dishes from all angles. Another window. More overhead storage. <coughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm flying through this, but can't have the lady upset with me, that's for sure. Cooking up some steaks and some shrimpies. A little place for some storage there. That thing is stuck as can be. Three stove top burner by Furion, um, as well as your oven right there. So definitely, you know, fit a pizza in there. A little bit of storage here up underneath. You get your Greystone uh, microwave. Pretty darn reflective too. There's that bowling arm baby. Been crushing it lately. Now that I'm starting to feel a little better. Hoping I can continue that trend. I'll tell you, last week I was just uh, plagued by a cold, man. And it's just been no fun. But I'm finally, finally starting to be able to breathe through my nose again. You know, so that's a plus. And then right back through this door is going to be your bedroom. But before we head back there... Oh, bumped my camera. You can't access it right through two different ways. So two entrances to the bathroom. And to be quite honest with you, this is an absolutely massive bathroom for a toy hauler. Uh, one, you get the porcelain foot flush toilet, your radius shower, you know, with enough room for sure. You also get a little bit of a countertop space right here. 
and some storage above and below the sink. Go ahead and turn that fan off. Uh, but right up ahead, as you could hear, you get that fan, help circulate some of the air, get a little place for some natural sunlight. This is going to be the same both top and bottom. <coughs> and then this is pretty cool. It's a king size bed and you see that it has the slide patent pending. Uh, so what Cruiser is doing with all of its brands, uh, there's another entrance here too, by the way. Uh, but with all of its brands, even in the regular travel trailers, you know, the MPG line, the Shadow Cruiser, uh, you know, and then the Striker, this king bed, you can actually slide it, you know, from one side to the other. So you could basically either kick this all the way over, you know, with the grab handle, you can push and pull. There's just little snaps right there. Um, or you can leave it centered. So if you have one person that needs a little bit more room, move it all the way over to a wall. Really nice feature to have and one that I haven't seen, um, you know, in these campers before. Emergency exit window right here, so pull, push, and pop, and you guys can get out. Another window right over there, and then you have overhead storage all up and around. So hanging items, this will be the same both left and right. And then some overhead storage that's all connected all the way through. And you can see you also get some accent lighting. And then you have um, another vent right up here up top as well. It's going to be where your TV mounting bracket is, so where it's backed. Got a little bit of extra wood right there so you can put a swivel on. Outlets. And your cable. But I think that about does it here for the inside portion of this tour. Oh, did forget to show you. Uh, your gen start right there. So all you're going to do to start it, to prime it, you're just going to hold it down for about five seconds and then flip it up to start. You know, and I'll get that baby cooking up for you. Um, but yeah, it's about wraps it up here for the inside portion of the store. I'm going to show you a couple things on the outside where those are located. But again, this is the 2023 Striker 2916. And if you guys, uh, if you guys don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button if you've made it this far. <coughs> I'll tell you, I cannot wait to full feely better and fully better and get back to my videos for sure. So electric stabilizing jacks, this is where you're going to extend and retract, but really easy, really quick. You can also do a manual override um, if you need. It's got the extended seasons RVing package on there. So that'll mean you can camp a little bit, you know, a little bit hotter and a little bit colder than most brands. Again, the specifications for the awnings and all that will be down in the description of this camper, but you do get some nice lights there, as you can see underneath the awning. Right up here, those are going to be your two marine grade speakers. This is also going to be a dual axle unit. Potable water. A place where you can put another mounting bracket. And this is going to be your black tank flush. So if you're not familiar with your black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And then for the TV, you get your cable and then all the outlets that you need. Storage here in the front. That's going to be your solar charge controller to let you know that the solar panels up top are working. Uh, they're also prepped for the tire link system. So if you're not familiar, the tire link system uh, is basically, or not basically, it is the tire pressure monitoring system that comes with a screen. So that way, while you're driving down the road, you know you can actually know uh, when your tires are potentially getting lower or could you know could cause a blowout for you. LED lights here up on the front cap. Electric stabilizing jack. And then right here is going to be where you put your 5500 own and generator in there. There is an option also for a 4000 watt. I do encourage you to get the 5500 though, because that'll run everything, you know, absolutely no problem. You can also put on slide toppers if you would like for $700. And what a slide topper is, it's basically a piece of awning. Uh, canvas that goes from here to here and prevents any debris or anything like that from falling on top of the slide and you know causing a leak if it closes and punctures into that seal. This is going to be the back end of the water heater, your city water connection, and then a spray port. Let's see here. 
right there we got the connection uh, for one of your dumps looks like that is going to be the galley tank satellite and cable hookups over on this side and a place where you can fill up with the unleaded fuel and this is going to be in here it's going to be your um, your pump station so your fuel station but all right guys i know this was a pretty quick and pretty basic tour but i wanted to get out here you know and do something today but this was the 2023 Stryker 2916. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys have a great night. See ya.